Closing deals starts from the very first interaction that you have with a prospect. Today, you will learn that when you put yourself in the qualifying position, you will close more deals and feel better about those that were never a deal to begin with. Let's close some deals. In the past 30 years of selling, what I found interesting is watching other people sell. And what I find is, is that they spend way too much time talking about their product or service and not actually qualifying the prospect. So what are the qualifying steps that you have to determine before you consider this a prospect? Well, let's keep it simple. Does this person have pain? Do they have decision? And do they have budget? Now we're gonna go through each one of those individually. What is pain? Well, you can't determine what pain is if you're too busy talking about all of the great things that your company does. So keep your mouth shut when it comes to that and ask questions. One of the best questions to ask when I'm meeting with a prospect is, why am I here? What are you hoping that I can do to solve your problems? If they don't have an answer to that, or they simply say, we're looking for the lowest possible bid, it's probably time for you to say, we're not a fit. But if they give you a few little bits of information about issues they have with the product or service that they're currently purchasing, you want to dig into that a little bit more. This is something that we call the pain funnel. So when I look at a pain funnel, I'm going to identify a specific issue and I'm just going to ask a few basic questions. The first is going to be, tell me a little bit more about that. Tell me a little bit more about whatever that issue is. They tell you a story. Next would be, how long has this been a problem? After we look at how long it's been a problem and they start to tell you these answers, you should start to see a change in their demeanor and in the way that they're speaking to you. Next is, what have you tried to do to fix that problem? And if they answer that, chances are right now they're probably fuming or they're about in tears. Now we move into, well, when you talk to them about that, did it work? And chances are you wouldn't be sitting in that room if it did. So we're looking at the next question, which is extremely important. I don't assume this has cost you any time or money. And that's going to tell you a little bit more about how much the services are actually costing the prospect. Not what the price is, but what the price is plus dealing with the issue. And the most important question when it comes to pain is, have you given up trying to work on this? And when you have that question out there, chances are very good they're going to say, no, that's why you're here. So we're feeling good about the pain. If you don't take the time to go through pain, you are going to lose sales and never be a closer. The next step is going to be decision. Does the person that you're speaking with have any influence over the decision making process? What salespeople tend to do poorly, and when I say salespeople, it's because they're not closers. They ask, are you the person who makes this decision? You might as well walk out the door right now. What a closer would say is, um, last time this decision was made, how was it made? Can you explain to me what that looked like? And in that conversation, what you're going to find out is whether that decision was made through committee or that decision was made by an individual person or that decision was made by the person that was sitting right in front of you. But you should never make an assumption that the person in front of you is the decision maker or isn't the decision maker. You need to know how decisions are made. The last qualifying question is budget. Again, a salesperson would come right out and ask, what's your budget? Well, you know, that's again, kind of a rookie mistake and again, not a closer. So what is a question that you would ask to determine what the budget would be? Well, there's a lot of ways to approach this, but one that I find extremely effective is, you know, assuming that we can solve all of the things you've already told me that you're having, all the problems you're having, and we were able to get it done within a certain amount of time, you know, what would that be worth to you? And the question is going to lead this person to a conversation in their own head talking about, should I tell this person what the budget is or not? 
And if the answer is, I really don't want to tell you how much that would be, it's okay for you to simply say, well, you know, I can give you a number, but I have a feeling that we're going to be too high. So should we stop now? And if the answer is no, okay, well, can I just throw a number out and you can let me know if I'm crazy or not? Chances are you're going to have some idea of what this account or this, you know, product or service is that you're selling is going to cost. That's best for you to throw that in at about a 25 to 30% higher number to see what kind of response or reaction that you get. If you're not willing to talk about money, you will lose and you will never close deals. You must be willing to talk about money and be willing to talk about budget and do it in an effective way and not simply just say, what's your budget? The last part of being a closer is you want to know what's going to happen to you next. This is something, again, that doesn't get discussed very often. In fact, in sales, what you typically hear is, they said they'd get back to me, or they said they're thinking about it, or, well, they're gonna get back to me next week on Monday or Tuesday or whatever it is. This is not closing. What this is, is selling. Selling is not the process. Closing deals is what we're here for. So when I walk out of a meeting right before, I'll simply ask them, Assuming that we are able to solve your problems and we can meet the budget and we can do this in a timely fashion, what's going to happen next? And if they simply say something along the lines of, well, I'm going to review the other three bids and I'll get back to you. If you walk out, you're a salesperson. If you follow that up with a question, you're a closer. And that question would be something like, well, let me ask you a few questions about that before I go. When you say you're going to review the other two bids that you're receiving, what types of things are you looking at in making this decision? And I want to make sure that we're able to meet those things or we can just end this now. When they answer those questions, you're going to, again, be qualifying them. And if the things that they're looking for, lowest price, um, any of the other items that are just going to be deal killers for you, you just say, I don't think we're a fit, and you walk out. However, if they say, well, these are the things we're looking at, and these are the factors, those are those little bits of information that are gonna help you to tailor your proposal to meet their exact needs. And that's what a closer does. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. See you in the next video.